Hey, I'm Al McGee, and I'm the great black film critic of Florida. I'm going to talk about this new film called The Flash. Now here we got Ezra Miller. He plays that 20 something forensic scientist and secret superhero, Barry Allen. And you know, Barry is nostalgic. He just uh, talked to his dad who was in prison. His mother's dead. And then he does a save the people type of episode, but he still feels, you know, that he can help his mother and his father with his powers. But he goes and talks to uh, well, Bruce Wayne slash Batman about that. But Batman said, hey, don't do it because you can change things and it might not come out the same or it might not come out the way you want it. Remember, Barry Allen is a 20-something-year-old young man. Many 20-something-year-old men and women, you tell them no, or you tell them it won't work out, what do they do? They do it anyway, don't they? Think about that. You were 20-something, I was 20-something, I did things I shouldn't have done. And I'm sure that other 20 something uh, years of age did it too. Think about that. And that's why I like this film. I really did like this film. I feel that the director, Andy Machete, he did a great job with this. And also the script writers too, Christina Hudson. She did a great job with this too. But Barry doesn't listen to Batman. Well, Barry goes to the past. Well, he meets his mom. I was a little bit confused about that part. Did she know the difference between the present Barry and the one that came from the past? I mean, the future? See, I'm confused already. But she couldn't tell the difference between the two. I mean, she talked about it a little bit. She couldn't tell. But Barry meets himself from the past. He does. And he meets this other Batman from the past, played by Michael Keaton. Now there's other Batmans or other actors who are Batman in this film, but I'm just gonna concentrate on Michael Keaton. You know, he's the one from the 80s, Tim Burton films, but here he's a little bit older. Oh, you know, it's more like a Howard Hughes type of guy. Uh, it just seems he don't care about nothing. Oh, he, he's dirty, nasty. Beard, I bet his breath stank too when Barry talked to him. Ooh. But Keaton gives some of the best acting in this film as himself and as Bruce Wayne and as the Batman. <laughs> it was really great to see him in this film. But also, Barry meets or sees General Zod, you know, the guy from Man of Steel. He's killing Earth. But there's no Superman around. So the Batman and Barry has to go save Superman. But, oh, big mystery on that. And the thing about that, too, is that was a total surprise. That's why I like this film. There's a lot of surprises in this film that didn't really follow the norm for a superhero film. I really enjoyed this. But we got Supergirl, played by Sasha Kali. And man, she's really good. Now, when they go and do what they had to do to get her, that was very impressive to me for filmmaking. It really was. I really enjoyed that part. You know, The Flash been around for about 80 years. Here they, you know, had a popular TV show. But now they're trying to make them popular in the films. When I saw Flash in an earlier film, I didn't like him at all because he, Seem like he can't do nothing. Yeah, speed is great, but is that all you got? But in this film, they gave him a little bit more to do, and I really enjoyed that. But I will admit that uh, this film has a lot of action in it, and it's very enjoyable. And it's letting Flash be himself. It's letting Flash be the superhero that he, he wants to be. And Barry 
fully understands that. Now, I feel that uh, Ezra Miller, he knows his character. And the script is what holding him back. And again, DC still don't know what to do with the Flash. That's my only disappointment about the Flash over the decades. I used to read the comic books when I was a young man. But this film is very enjoyable. I really enjoyed it. Go see it for yourself, though. Really. Go see this for you for yourself. And I always recommend you go see every film that I review because that way you know what I'm talking about and you know what you will enjoy. I'm going to give this film three palms out of four. Three palm trees out of four because it was enjoyable. I enjoyed it. I really did. I hope you enjoyed my review. Thanks for watching me the best black film critic of Florida. This is your entertainment ticket, latest and greatest.